Hello, and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today, it is all about how to grow and care for the Aeonium canariens. The Canary Islands Aeonium, also known as Giant Velvet Rose, Tree Aeonium, Canary Island Aeonium, and Aeonium canariens, is a succulent shrub that grows on the Canary Islands and surrounding regions of the Western Mediterranean Sea. It typically grows two to three feet tall with large velvety rosettes up to 12 inches in diameter. The leaves are green with reddish or pink edges. It blooms in the summer, producing clusters of star-shaped flowers. Like most Aeoniums, Aeonium canariens is monocarpic flowers once, then dies. However, it offsets freely into multiple rosettes which continue the culture once one rosette dies out. The Canary Island Aeonium plant is characterized by large fleshy leaves that grow in a formation of green rosettes. It can add a terrific visual appeal to any succulent garden. It is a forgiving plant that doesn't mind some neglect here and there. As with most succulents, Aeonium canarians prefers full sun. If you can't manage six hours a day the recommended amount, grow it in a location that receives at least a few hours of direct sunlight daily. Depending on how much light this aeonium gets, it might need more water than usual during watering sessions. It is advisable to bring the plant indoors for the winter months when there's less sunlight. In that case, Aeonium canarians will do just fine in an east-facing window with some shade from trees or buildings. Move it back outdoors once temperatures begin warming up again. Water it when the soil is dry to the touch. New growth may appear yellow or brown if you haven't watered enough, but this will correct itself once the plant has been adequately watered. Make sure to water more often in hot weather and less often in cold weather. Because of their shallow root systems, aeoniums require more frequent watering than other succulents during their growing season. Aeonium canarians thrives in temperatures between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore, you should monitor the plant regularly and adjust its temperature accordingly. If temperatures drop below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, you should move your plant indoors. If it's too hot, Try placing it in a spot where it will receive more shade or moving it outdoors during the day and back inside at night. Aeoniums don't tolerate freezing weather well and should be brought indoors during cold snaps. The ideal humidity level for these plants is around 50%. Keep an eye on the conditions and adjust the humidity when required. Even though they're drought tolerant and can survive in poor soil, aeoniums like regular feedings of balanced fertilizer every spring or fall. If your plant is small, use half strength when fertilizing. Otherwise, use full strength. You should also be aware that some varieties need more feed than others. Aeonium canarians can be propagated using stem cuttings, leaf cuttings, and seeds. When using the stem cutting method, Take a healthy stem at least six inches long. Wash and thoroughly dry the cutting before placing it in a moist environment for rooting. Wait for a few days so the wood of the cut is completely healed. Place the cutting in an airy container filled with well-draining potting soil. Cover the container with plastic wrap and maintain humidity around the plant until rooting occurs. Once the cutting has developed roots, plant newly rooted cutting into moist soil. When using the leaf cutting method, take a healthy leaf cutting. Allow the cut end some time to heal and callus over. Once your leaf has healed sufficiently, it's time to prepare it for transplanting into fresh potting soil. The rest of the process is the same as for stem cuttings. Eonium canarians can also be propagated using seeds. However, this process takes much longer than propagation via offsets. When potting and repotting Aeonium canarians, make sure to use a potting mix that drains well. You can achieve this by adding sand or perlite to the soil. The size of the pot depends on your plant size. The general rule is one gallon of soil for every four inches of stem height.
So if your plant has five or six inches of stem height, use a gallon-sized container. The best time to repot Aeonium canariens is when it's actively growing. If you wait until the plant has stopped growing, it will lose some of its vigors. Pick a pot at least one size larger than the current one. Use a cactus slash succulent potting mix or regular potting soil with perlite added to help with moisture retention and drainage. Pick the perfect spot for your plant to grow. Remove the plant from its current container. Dig a small hole in the soil and place the root ball in a new pot. Secure the plant in its new home and then fill the container with more soil. Water after a week in place in a warm, sunny location. Eonium canarians is considered to be a non-toxic plant. No toxic effects have been reported on humans or pets. These succulents are susceptible to aphids, mealybugs, and scale insects. Keep an eye on these three insects in particular. Aphids are small sap-sucking insects that tend to congregate, causing leaves to curl and look distorted. Mealybugs have soft bodies covered in white powdery wax and like hot conditions. They cluster under leaves where there is little airflow or light penetration. Scale insects look very similar to mealy bugs, except they are harder shelled, more likely found on stems than leaves. To get rid of these pests, regularly spray your plant with water. Prune out dead branches and stems. When it comes to pesticides, it's always best to stick with natural methods and products. Use soap spray to avoid damage. Spraying an insecticidal soap mixture directly onto the pest is another option to control these pests. Use horticultural or neem oil when required. Please note and avoid. Overwatering the plant, placing it under harsh sunlight, using poorly drained potting mediums, and fertilizing during the dormancy period.